Hey guys, just really quick before the video starts, um, I am the YouTuber of the month for uh, the Omnibuts Cafe Facebook group. So if you guys are interested in a group where uh, you can buy, sell, trade, and uh, interact with other people about comic books, please join it. I'll leave a link to it down below. And um, it, it should be in the description and also in the comments section, right? I'll leave it as a pinned comment. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Ian here with Hobbies of Man. Once again, and today we're doing another comic book issue review. We're looking at issue number nine of Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, no changes to the art team. It's still Hickman, Chichetto, and Wilson. And uh, this is the September issue, and uh, it's pretty good. Um, mostly, I think the interpersonal stuff is really, really great here. Um, so if you're kind of maybe not a fan of like more of like the soap opera type stuff, and you want more action, you might want to not read this anymore, but uh, I think it's getting really good. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I love the the way that Hickman plays with like expectations based on the previous knowledge we have of characters, right? So at the end here, that becomes really important. Um, so this opens up with um, Ben and uh, J. Jonah Jameson at the bar. They have uh, a sad faced celebration, I guess you could call it. They're supposed to be celebrating the fact that their paper is doing super good, um, but they're upset about it because of the way that it did that. So um, apparently they've been running articles and stuff about Spider-Man and uh, it's making uh, the, the website that they have have a lot of traction, but they feel like it's cheating or it's not good because that means that they're interested, in, like readers are interested in Spider-Man, not on like, the real news that are going on in the world, right? Through the paper. Um, uh, Mary Jane arrives. She, you know, listens to them tell her this and she looks at them like they're stupid. And she's like, dude, the paper is super popular. They're here for Spider-Man, but they'll stay for the content that you make. And that's more or less true, right? Like that's how uh, YouTube works. It entices you to watch a specific video and then it just pumps whatever videos that, um, uh, it wants you to watch afterwards, right? And most of the time you'll watch them because um, they'll be somewhat rigged uh, to be interesting to you, right? So um, she explains this to them. Uh, then they go off to to uh, celebrate properly and um, finally get us started on, on writing the good stuff that they wanna write for their paper, right? So that's good. Um, we come back to Oscorp, uh, to the Skunk Works section of the company and Otto is giving them uh, freedom, basically. He's uh, making sure to update their suits to remove the Stark stuff uh, to make it so that Stark can't control their suits anymore, right? So uh, the Goblin suit is now untraceable and because he, uh, Otto, can't replicate uh, Peter's Picotech technology, uh, what he does instead is make an iron spider suit, right? So um, it looks awesome, um, but Peter is like, you know what? No thanks, that's not really my speed. I'm gonna just find a different way to do this. He takes the suit off and he goes uh, and wears normal spandex, which is pretty fun. Uh, I'm curious to know if that's gonna be um, the norm going forward, if this is the way in which we get the Venom symbiote kind of going on thing from the uh, Picotech technology or you know what's going on there. And yeah, so he decides to wear spandex. In a later scene, uh, we get to see that Peter and Harry are hanging out while they're um, fighting crime. And as they're doing this, Black Cat, uh, the dad version, right? Like the older version, um, shows up. Uh, he's like a gentleman thief, right? He's something like Arsene Lupin or Gentle Criminal or some, like one of those types of characters, right? And um, he tries to EMP them. Uh, Peter dodges, the goblin suit is uh, fried and Harry freaks out because he can't hear his dad's voice anymore and because he feels threatened because he doesn't have power anymore, right? Um, Peter fights the Black Cat and beats him pretty easily. Um, he, you know, ties him to the ground. Uh, Black Cat is not uh, able to do anything anymore. And then he's like, all right, man, it was about time for me to go out, end it, right? Kill me. And Peter's like, dude, what the hell? I'm not gonna kill you. Um, and uh, so Black Cat breaks free and um, Peter is looking at, 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 at the goblin suit and Black Cat is uh, sneaking up behind Peter to do something, right? We don't know what it is. Uh, I would assume that he's gonna, you know, hit him, but you know, Peter has, uh, Peter has spider sense. So, so if that was the case, he would have known, right? But um, the goblin uh, suit boots up again. Um, Harry finally hears his dad's voice again. He sees Black Cat sneaking up behind Peter and decides to shoot him. 
and um, he kills him. And Peter gets mad. He's like, dude, there was no reason to kill this guy. What the hell's wrong with you? And uh, Harry is mad that Peter's mad at him. He's like, dude, he, I don't know what he was gonna do. He might've been killing you, right? Like I, I did what I needed to do to protect you. Um, and well, they're not really happy with each other, but Peter manages to um, let it go, I guess. And uh, he's like, okay, well, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Let's move on uh, from this. And they go off into the sunset to their next adventure. And um, it, it's kind of ominous the way it ends. It feels like stuff is going to go down, right? And based on, on, on the way that the issue 10 looks, like the cover, I'm pretty sure there will be a confrontation between Peter and uh, Goblin, right? So we'll see how that happens. But overall, I really, really enjoyed this. I think the... Um, the artwork is really awesome. I really love it. The coloring is also really great. And I'm really enjoying the story. At the same time, I feel sometimes it's like, well, not enough happened issue to issue. But then at the same time, I'm like, well, I, it did. It's just like not maybe super action oriented. Um, but uh, I was thinking about this. You know, I think I will continue to read this series for as long as it goes on. Um, but I will probably decide properly after issue 12. So we'll see what happens, right? But uh, for now, I, I think I am sticking to the series for as long as it runs. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on this book. Uh, let me know what you thought down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys later.